In the grim darkness of the far future, where humanity teeters on the brink of oblivion, the Adeptus Astartes, or Space Marines, stand as humanity's last bastion against a galaxy teeming with existential threats. Among these legendary warriors, the Marauders chapter holds a place shrouded in both admiration and a hint of trepidation. Renowned for their aggressive tactics and devotion to the Emperor, they are a force that embodies the very essence of the Space Marines' martial prowess. This chronicle goes into the history, traditions, and battle doctrines of the Marauders. We will explore their war-torn homeworld, the rigorous trials that forged their warriors, and the unique aspects that set them apart from their brethren. We will witness their deployment across battlefields ravaged by war, and their loyalty to the Imperium tested against foes, both Xenos and heretics. Join us as we look at the legends surrounding the Marauders, a chapter that walks a tightrope between faith and the precipice of a more brutal but practical approach to warfare. The tempestuous world of Mortis Prime is what shapes the Marauders. Constant volcanic activity racked Mortis Prime, a desolate and unforgiving planet spewing forth ash and molten rock that paints the sky a perpetual blood red. Massive jagged mountain ranges dominate the landscape, their peaks perpetually shrouded in swirling storms. Scattered across this hostile terrain are vast hive cities, colossal structures teeming with humanity clinging to survival. Life on Mortis Prime is a brutal struggle for existence, a constant war against the planet's unforgiving environment and the ever-present threat of mutant creatures that lurk in the volcanic depths. Mystery surrounds the origins of the Marauders. Legends speak of a forgotten founding, a time when a legion of unknown lineage crash-landed on Mortis Prime. The harsh environment forever tainted the survivors' genes, forcing them to adapt and fight for survival. This crucible of adversity forged a new breed of space marines, one honed for unrelenting aggression and a fierce determination to conquer any foe. Some whisper about the connection to the White Scars chapter due to the Marauders' emphasis on swift, brutal assaults. However, the truth remains obscured by the veil of time. It is certain that the Marauders have carved their own legend within the Imperium, a legacy written in the blood of their enemies. These trials are as varied as the unforgiving landscape of Mortis Prime. Young hopefuls may face challenges such as navigating treacherous volcanic chasms, outrunning ravenous packs of feral predators, or enduring gladiatorial combat against their peers. Only the most resilient, the ones who embody the raw aggression and spirit of the marauders, will survive. No moment of rest awaits those who emerge from the gauntlet. The chapter inducts them into its training regime, a brutal process that transforms them from raw recruits into elite warriors. They spend years honing their combat skills, mastering a variety of weaponry, and undergoing rigorous physical conditioning. They instill tactical doctrines that emphasize lightning, fast assaults, flanking maneuvers, and overwhelming firepower. However, unlike some chapters that may favor more methodical approaches, the Marauders embrace a certain level of battlefield improvisation. The unpredictable nature of Mortis Prime has instilled in them an ability to adapt tactics on the fly and exploit any weakness in the enemy line. Psychological conditioning plays a crucial role in shaping a Marauder Space Marine. The Emperor indoctrinates them with loyalty and instills a burning hatred for all those who oppose him. They weave tales of glorious victories and the dire consequences of failure into the very fabric of their existence. This intense indoctrination fosters an almost fanatical devotion to their duty, a relentless pursuit of victory at any cost. This is speculation based on known space marine training methods. The exact details of the Marauder's indoctrination may be a closely guarded secret. The Marauders stand out amongst their brethren in several key ways. Firstly, their combat doctrine is a whirlwind of controlled fury. They favor rapid deployment via drop pods, descending upon their foes with a devastating combination of shock tactics and overwhelming firepower. Their reliance on close quarters combat sets them apart from chapters known for ranged warfare. Marauder Space Marines are masters of the bolter at close range, unleashing a hail of deadly projectiles that can shred even heavily armored opponents. They are also known to wield a unique variant of power weapon known as the Maelstrom Gauntlet. 
these brutal close combat weapons channel raw energy into a crackling field around the user's fist, capable of turning foes into smoldering slag. They are isolationist in their tendencies. They will fight easily enough alongside other Imperial forces, but they will remain aloof and exchange only the information they need to prosecute their campaigns. Recognized for their particular aptitude as marksman snipers, the marauders often set ambushes for their enemies and then hammered them with massed firepower before sweeping down to finish off the ragged and terrified survivors. Beyond their weaponry, the marauders also possess a distinctive psychological trait, a battle rage known as the Mortis Fury. The harsh environment of their homeworld and the constant struggle for survival fuel this heightened state of aggression. When unleashed, a marauder space marine becomes a whirlwind of destruction, their movements blurring as they cleave through enemy ranks with a terrifying ferocity. However, this fury is a double-edged sword. While it grants them unmatched savagery in combat, it also risks clouding their judgement and making them vulnerable to skilled opponents who can exploit their recklessness. Finally, the Marauders have a somewhat unorthodox relationship with the Adeptus Mechanicus. Because of the constant volcanic activity on Mortis Prime, the chapter has developed a degree of self-sufficiency when it comes to maintaining their war gear. While they still rely on the mechanics for essential components and advanced technology, they possess a deeper understanding of their weaponry than most chapters. Occasionally, the Marauders' self-reliance causes friction with the insular tech priests, but their effectiveness on the battle battlefield ensures their tolerance, if not their embrace. The Marauders are a chapter that is constantly changing. Their preferred deployment zone is within the tempestuous Segmentum Obscurum, a region of the galaxy notoriously rife with threats. Here, they answer a multitude of calls for aid, their swift and brutal tactics proving particularly effective against the Orc hordes that frequently plague this sector. The Marauders relish the chaotic nature of Orc warfare. Their own brand of aggressive combat is perfectly suited to meeting the Greenskins head-on in a whirlwind of violence. Beyond Orcs, the Marauders have faced a variety of foes. They have clashed with Tyranid swarms, their resolve holding the line against the relentless tide of Xenos bioforms. Eldar raiding parties have found themselves on the receiving end of the Marauders' fury, their graceful manoeuvres proving no match for the Space Marines' raw aggression. Even the insidious forces of chaos have felt the wrath of the Marauders, whether purging cultist uprisings or battling traitor legions on war-torn battlefields, the Marauders bring a righteous fury to the fight against the Imperium's enemies. However, the Marauders' unorthodox tactics and occasional disregard for civilian casualties have drawn criticism from some within the Imperium. Their focus on aggressive warfare can lead to collateral damage, and their pursuit of victory can sometimes overshadow more nuanced strategic objectives. These concerns are particularly pronounced when dealing with the enigmatic forces of the Tau Empire. The Marauders' straightforward approach struggles to adapt to the Tau's technologically advanced tactics and emphasis on ranged combat. Despite these criticisms, the Marauders remain a potent force within the Imperium. Their loyalty and battlefield prowess are undeniable. They are a living testament to the raw power of the Space Marines, a chapter forged in the fires of a hostile world and honed to a razor-sharp edge against a galaxy teeming with threats. The arrival of the Primaris Marines, as well as the subsequent tearing open of the Great Rift, have cast a long shadow over the Imperium. The Marauders, ever vigilant defenders of humanity, have found themselves facing a galaxy reshaped by these cataclysmic events. The chapter has met the introduction of the Primaris Marines with a mix of suspicion and grudging acceptance. While these new warriors are undeniably effective, some within the Marauders see them as a departure from the traditions that have shaped their chapter for millennia. The integration of Primaris Marines into existing squads has been a slow and cautious process, with veteran Marauders wary of trusting these newcomers with their lives. However, some Marauders see the Primaris Marines as a potential means to further enhance the chapter's already formidable combat capabilities, given their battlefield prowess. The Great Rift's opening has presented the Marauders with a multitude of new challenges. Warp storms have disrupted travel routes, making it more difficult for them to answer calls for aid across the beleaguered Imperium. 
New and terrifying Xenos threats emerge from the warp rift, their motivations and capabilities shrouded in mystery. The ever-present threat of chaos has intensified, with demonic incursions becoming more frequent and more audacious. Despite the challenges, the marauders remain resolute. The Emperor will test their faith and battle hardened resilience like never before. Whether they choose to embrace the Primaris Marines as a sign of hope for the future or remain stubbornly rooted in their traditions, one thing is certain. The Marauders will face the coming darkness with the same savage fury that has defined them for generations. Their tale continues to unfold, a testament to the spirit of the Space Marines in the face of an ever more perilous galaxy. This chronicle has peeled back the layers of legend surrounding the Marauder Space Marines. We've witnessed their brutal forge world, the trials that shape them into warriors, and the unique tactics they use on the battlefield. Theirs is a story of loyalty, unrelenting aggression, and a constant struggle to survive in a galaxy teetering on the brink. The Marauder's future remains uncertain. The arrival of the Primaris Marines and the ever-widening moor of the Great Rift present challenges unlike any they have faced before. Yet, the spirit of Mortis Prime burns brightly within them. Their loyalty to the Emperor and inherent savagery will be the tools they wield against the encroaching darkness. One thing is certain, the Marauders will remain a formidable force, regardless of whether they decide to incorporate the Primaris into their ranks or chart their own course. Their savage war symphony will continue to echo across battlefields, a testament to humanity's spirit in the face of annihilation. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Marauders chapter. Theirs is a story that continues to unfold, a testament to the enduring legacy of the Space Marines.